Hello champions, welcome to my character guide series where I take common characters to uncommon levels. This time we're going to be using the Iron Sheik. He is going to be at 4 star gold. Again, as usual, this is not my own Iron Sheik. This is the one that was sent to me by Scopely at 4 star gold. I don't get to keep him. They're going to take him away after. Mine, I believe, was like 3 star silver or something like that. So, he is a legend powerhouse. And he has trainer at 5,000 so that column break gems do 100% more damage. Links with the foreign region, triangle of terror and the legends and only one set of gear. Now the first move set we're going to see is the more common one, which is pretty much the best one really. It is the green two along with both purples. The Gut Buster is a 7 MP green move, deal 20.9k damage and make 5 random gems into reds. The Fireman's Carry Slam is an 8 MP purple move, deals 20.5k damage and choose 3 gems to make into blast gems. The Back Rake is an 8 MP purple move, deal 27.4k damage and make 6 random blue gems into green gems. Now the reason we went with the Gut Buster green move instead of let's say the side belly to belly suplex that instead make column break gems. Technically indeed column break gems would be better on the board because you really have no use for the red gems except the fact that if you have those red gems, that means that all those blast gems are going to do more damage because red is the highest damage color you're going to get. So that's the reason we're going with the Gut Buster. Now, as far as trainers, pretty simple setup. It is Xavier Woods to start with four more MP and Rusev to get three extra blast gems. Now, I do have Rey Mysterio that adds another extra blast gem along with 25% more blast damage and I do have Shawn Michaels so that when I match a purple I get one extra MP from it. If you don't have Ray because he's not that common you can always go with Jason Jordan which is going to help reduce the turns of submissions you might get. So now let's see it in action. We're going to go against Seth Rollins because he's pretty badass. Right. Now, since I got props, my purple moves are ready, but normally I wouldn't have my purple moves ready. So. We're gonna use a purple just so we get a legit second turn action. All right, so now I would use this. That'll make some greens. There you go. That'll make some reds. Fortunately, that also ended our turn. Right. Now, there's not a lot of purple on the board, unfortunately. Normally, you would want to reload that purple with that uh, blow-up action. Well, I'll go reach all those purples while I also get some of those reds at the same time. And we'll make it start by here. That reloaded the purple and the green. I also did 150k or so. Set roll-ins has no problem kicking out of that. Should leave a mark. No, 72k. I expected more. Uh, I don't want to burn too many reds. We're out. 
Um, let's make more reds. Made more than I wanted to. Now, I'm not gonna risk getting those uh, green with the blues because I mean there's a lot close here. That would most likely end my turn and then I'd get hit by that blue. So we'll just go for the damage right there. Like that. This is gonna drop there. There. Let's put one there. I'm pretty much trying to cover the reds. This should get rid of most, if not all, the red. All the red. And he's down. Not a perfect match, but it went pretty damn well. Especially against a top tier set. All right, let's have a look at a different spec. I don't like it nearly as much, but it's also viable. So let's have a look. That's because we have a lot of jealousy in this country. But look at me, look at me, cameraman, zoom. Yeah. All right, let's have a look at a different move set. This time it is gonna be the green, green, red two. It is the Gutbuster seven MP green move, deal 20.9K damage and make five random gems into red gems. The side belly to belly suplex, 11 MP green move, deal 32.4K damage and make three random red gems into column break gems. And the backbreaker, 11 MP red move, deal 38K damage and destroy three random column break gems. Trainers for that are uh, steel to start with four more a green MP and Farouk to have two extra column break gems. Now, instead of Farouk, Scott All NWO is actually a much better trainer because at 9k he, he gives you two extra red gems for the Gutbuster plus one column break gems. But my Scott All is not at 9k right now, he's only at 5k, and at 5k, Farouk is better, but they're both options. Uh, coaches, Triple H, pretty good to help with that green. Also got X-Pac to help that with that red because I know who I'm facing. Otherwise, you could be using Jason Jordan to reduce submissions if you were to face one of those. Or, uh, I mean, you got a couple options, but I went with X-Pac here to help with the red if I can't get that green. All right, we're going to be facing Seth Rollins again. So we're going to be aiming at getting a green match. Which we don't have. And we don't have a red match either. Now normally I wouldn't have that green move ready, that's why I'm not taking it. I got the perk right now. Now I would definitely have it for the next turn. Alright. So. I'm uh, gonna... Am I, am I gonna use it already? Now what the hell, let's use it already. And now we're gonna make randoms into red and hope that something matches. Something did. We got enough to destroy three more. Fortunately, barely anything hit some green. Don't have any green to match either. Let's go for red, I guess. We're probably gonna get it. I'm pretty sure he's gonna scrap my remaining column gem, which he did not. Let's get out of that. 
Uh, let's use this one too. Do I want to use that? No, I don't. <laughs> like it, it would end my. Uh, would it earn, end my turn? I'm not sure. I'm gonna risk it. It did not. All right. Let's use that green here. I was wor worried it would have end my turn. Right. Let's make those column breaks. And let's hope some red matches. Okay. And it's over. This worked pretty well. Definitely, like, it's the first time I tried this spec, and it definitely works better than I thought it would. But I still believe the first one we saw is much more reliable than this is. This looks much harder to reload your move than the blast one is, because the blast one, you basically blast two-thirds of the board. Okay. And you're much more likely to have Rusev than you are to have Farouk or Skadal also. All right, so that is it for the Iron Sheik. As you see, this is a very, very common character, and he's actually very good at four star. At three star, he's horrible, but at four star, very viable character. So thanks for watching, guys. If you're not already a sub, make sure to do so to be kept aware when I post new stuff. If you have any questions, ask them. And if you like the video, leave a like and share. See you guys. G out.